do you guys ever start a video and you're like, how do I do an intro that doesn't sound like every single other YouTuber out there? Anyway, hi. <laughs> StreamerBot can now monitor multiple YouTube live streams on the same YouTube account at the same time. What that means is if you like to stream horizontal and vertical at the same time, StreamerBot can see and react to both chats and broadcasts. Or if you like to have five, 10, however many broadcasts on the same YouTube channel, StreamerBot can now monitor those live stream broadcasts and see each and every one of them. I wanted to give you a quick little preview about some of the changes and things you should know about. And a lot of my audience, they're YouTube streamers that use StreamerBot. And so I thought that uh, you guys would enjoy this. Now, as a reminder, this is still an alpha as of the making of this video. You can sign up to be an alpha tester if you'd like through the Patreon, or you can wait until it comes out to the beta testers and you can test it out there. Let's look at it and I wanna keep this video nice and short. All right, so the first big change, when you go into StreamerBot, again, this is the alpha version. When you go to platforms and YouTube, you're gonna see a new broadcasts tab. This is gonna show all of your broadcasts that you have on your channel, and it will show any of uh, upcoming broadcasts that you create. You can uh, do a lot of different commands. Let me show you real quick. I'm gonna start or schedule a stream. Let's call this uh, Hey YouTube. This broadcast that I just created called Hey YouTube is now in this list. This updates automatically. There's a few different options that you can do to control the broadcast. You can change the privacy. Uh, you can copy the broadcast ID, or you can click to show the dashboard. It'll take you to your, it'll take you to your dashboard of your stream, which is really nifty and handy. But a really big change that's really cool is you can now right click and monitor the stream. So before I do that, let me pop the chat out. All right, I've got StreamerBot running in the background. I'm gonna do one of my commands that I do on a live stream, dad joke. Normally when I'm live, this will send a dad joke back, but nothing's happening right now. When I go into StreamerBot, even though I haven't started the broadcast, I have not started streaming, I'm gonna right click and click monitor. And once you see this yes that it started monitoring, I'm gonna go back into here, type the command dad joke again. And since it's been monitoring the stream, we get a dad joke back. The command works, even though we haven't gone live. That's one of the big changes. Where does Napoleon keep his armies? In his sleeveys. Eh. So that's a really big update. That's really cool. A lot of people can use this to test now instead of going live or unlisted or private or whatever. Another change that's really important to realize and know about is that the broadcast ID variable has changed. When we go into the action cues, action history, I'm gonna look at this command I did, redeem dad joke. When we look at the broadcast ID variable, it is not broadcast capital ID anymore. It is now broadcast.id. Make sure if you have any actions or triggers or anything that use broadcast ID, like a Discord live webhook or some something like that, a, a likes alert, make sure to update this so that it uses broadcast.id instead of broadcast capital ID as the variable. That's a big change. The next change that's a pretty big deal that I'm excited for, when the statistics updated trigger happens, we have now a new variable called concurrent viewers. This will update based on the broadcast. So if you have multiple broadcasts going, this is gonna show the concurrent viewers for every broadcast, but we did not have this variable before. It's super exciting, super cool. Thank you, Nate, very much. This is awesome. Something to keep in mind that's not quite a big change, but is something you'll want to remember is that the trigger for broadcast started. So when you go to YouTube, broadcast, broadcast started or broadcast ended. Those triggers, if you have any actions that use this broadcast started trigger or ended trigger, it will trigger for every single broadcast. It doesn't know when you've just started going live on the first one and when you've stopped going live on all of your multiple streams. So keep that in mind. The last change that I wanted to go over real quick is the YouTube message sub action to send a message to your channel is a little bit different now. When we go to YouTube, send message to channel, you'll see now that there is this broadcast selection here. In the past, you've been able to choose broadcaster or bot for the account that sends the message, but now we have a broadcast that it sends it to. What this means is you can either have it sent to all of your live broadcasts, to the latest broadcast that has been monitored, or 
from variable. Now, what does from variable mean? That just means if you have a trigger that happened from a broadcast, it will look at that trigger and say, which broadcast did this happen from? Okay, I'm going to send it to that broadcast. Whatever message you're sending, it will look at the broadcast that triggered that action and send it to that same broadcast. Now, there may be a few more changes here and there as the alpha progresses and it goes into beta, but these are the kind of big ones I wanted to just share with everybody. I'm super excited about it. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are excited about it as well. Thank you very much, Nate, for adding this to StreamerBot. I wanted to also give a shout out. Thank you to Patty Quinn, who is a member of our Super Spirit Syndicate membership level. Thank you very much, Patty. I'm waving. All right, that's about it. If you guys want to catch us live, I usually stream live late on Fridays or Saturdays. We like to do a lot of streamer bot stuff on Fridays. So come in and ask questions or check out what we're doing. We have a lot of fun and I like to answer questions and help people figure stuff out. That's all for now. But whoever you are, and wherever you're from, and wherever you go, thanks for watching this video. Thank you.